Hello everybody, I'm going to show you the basics of how you can make textures for full perm items uh, using the UV maps and the, the maps, the texture maps we rec you receive uh, when you buy full perm. And the, your setting should be more or less like that. You, you have your UV uh, on top of the top of everything. Before I start, I want to point out a couple of things. And even though the texture maps comes in 124, you don't have to make the textures in 124. You can make them as big as possible and then you can compress them or uh, resize them uh, to whatever size uh, you want. And minimum maximum upload size is 248 and bigger the better. So basically if you make textures in 4K or 8K and then uh, when you squeeze them down and they, they actually appear better and sharper in, in Second Life. And of course, uh, that doesn't mean that's valid for everything because sometimes it's not it, it's not really easy to find really high resolution textures, 4K, 8K, uh, uh, to create textures, especially for prints and uh, fabric prints. So an another thing, just go to image and go to mode and set it to make sure it is a 16-bit channel that gives you more colors to work on. So the your top layer is UV layer and you make sure it is you press ctrl I to revert to invert it and then set it to multiply and maybe just reduce to opacity okay and then your AO or shadow map uh, becomes under it and it's set to multiply and I'll actually I'll show you something about that I'll just uh, bring another uh, AO Let's see here as you can see it is 124 all you need just to resize it to uh, 2048 2, okay so I'm just res let's rasterize it okay and then so I'll just take the bottom part set it to multiply okay now let's say if you don't want to we don't want to actually uh, use the ruffles at the bottom we just want a straight uh, straight bottom so we just um, uh, go to uh, brush and get a white color and just paint the, those areas well opposite is 30 and just to go quick I'll just make it all like that if you don't want ruffles okay that's how your your uh, shadow map setting should be the other one is actually your main texture is at the bottom and we get uh, many people actually wonder how you actually get the folds and the shines uh, also known as highlights and the shadows out of the textures you just don't want the texture you just want the highlights sometimes shadows uh, sometimes just wrinkles folds you go to chat that's pretty easy you go to channels and well you have to go to background layer first and just go to channels and well it, you just go through the channels red for example have a, a lots of uh, highlights green has actually mainly highlights no faults if, if you just want only highlights and red has little bit highlights and little bit faults and blue has uh, more like a kind of metallic uh, highlights in here as you can see it's a little bit noisy so whatever you need and uh, you just get it from here I'll just get it for example red channel just uh, go to red channel press ctrl A and then uh, ctrl copy and go to layers and press ctrl V well actually I'll just go ctrl D first to do deselect and then press ctrl V and one second what we do just go to your control V we go I'll just do the same thing again just control A control copy layers and then I have to I'll go to selection tool and then it's actually pasting but um, it's pasting on top of it so we don't want that I'll just go to here and paste so um, in a new layer now we have actually only highlights and little bit folds and colors which we will use later well, for each part you must have a, a folder so that you can colorize or change the uh, change the adjustments uh, 
for each part separately later. So basically, by, for this dress, that's kind of one piece dress, so we won't need skirt part. Uh, I just wanted to show you can actually create different parts for different folders for different parts. And we go to, uh, we select, and we come to here, we just select the black area, we hold Control Shift I to inverse the selection, and we just go to dress part and press mask, so we mask the only the areas we want to paint and we want to create textures. The next thing, we just create an empty layer in here under it. Okay, we open it and just I'll just fill it with a, a red color. A nice bright red color. Okay, now I'm just I'm gonna show you the first thing how you can actually create folds, wrinkles, etc. These things. Let's say whether we can add a, a solid color in here or we can add and um, prints we, can, we find from internet, for example, and um, you can search for fabric, fabric prints. And, and just add them to here. Okay, and just go. Just then. Um, Of course, little bit. This is trial and error. What's this? Um, this may these hearts may look huge or too small in second life. So you kind of you can actually first of all um, in, uh, import uh, one of those textures, small size of it, and see uh, and use the repeat uh, texture part and to see how many repeats actually is necessary. And then, or other than this, just try and error. Uh, to see what works size-wise, okay? We can just create fabric prints like that. I'm just doing randomly, and if you have a texture that's actually um, aligning seamlessly, you can use that too. Okay, and if you want to use a, a print, we can use that, or if you want to use a solid color, which is, that's what I'll do, and I'll just take this off. What we what we'll do now? Just I'll show you how you can actually create folds uh, for for the solid color. So I just go to my uh, you search for fabric. One of the ways of how do you create um, fabrics? You find folds uh, fabric folds on the internet and then drag and drop and then wherever part you want to add that fold and then. You just delete the parts a little bit. Well, you just um, make sure you have a very soft brush. Okay. So you have a very soft brush. Just do it again. Just get rid of the sharp edges. We press Ctrl U to colorize it and then increase the saturation and play, play with the sliders until it blends well. If you squint your eyes, actually you would get a better idea of blending. So this is one way of doing it. You can further delete it if you want to. You can get this fabric and add all over if you want to. Other parts. And delete more. Etc. So if you want to add, if we wanted to add some uh, highlights or shines, or if you like the highlights and shadows or shines in the original fabric, so what we do, we can get this one, hold Alt, and just bring uh, one copy to the top, right? I'm just gonna get rid of the folds now. What we do then, and, and we press the Add Layer Mask, and we press uh, Control I to inverse it. We go to brush and we just um, uh, go to white color okay I'll start with opacity 100 so uh, if it doesn't work you can reduce the opacity so uh, well I'll just go with that but what I'll do now and you just go to blending layer blending mode and just change it to whatever works and this really there isn't really set up a setup rule for that one because this really changes according to the uh, layer under it or the color under it so whatever works in here for you so you play with it a little bit for example darken 
didn't didn't work so well so we can use that if you want to blend well you can just reduce the uh, opacity depending on how much shine you want or how much highlight you want okay you can continue adding more if you don't want these areas just go to black and just lead here and just add only to the rest and again if you just don't want this and you just want where or you can just bring all of it and then just uh, go to black in here and delete areas you just don't want and if you want just uh, you can reduce the opacity in here let's say to 20 just uh, just to brighten in here a little bit so now as you can see we added some shine highlights to our fabric that's how we add highlights highlights and shines to your fabric and basically uh, you can use this uh, to a solid color, underline it, right? Or you can just add this to to the uh, prints, which you you need to care, carry the prints right under it. Okay, so just you can add this to the to your prints because the color is too white, and uh, so you probably wouldn't see the highlight shadows very much on a on a white fabric. So if it was a different co color like blue, etc would work better let me see if I can go to you and just colorize and just make it a little darker maybe blue again if there's too much brightness in this so for that reason it doesn't really work well for for that color for that print So we'll, we'll stay with the solid color under it, okay? And whatever is left with that now um, is actually, uh, let's say later on you create the, this one and you want to change to these to many colors. You go to, under the, the folder, let's say dress part, you just uh, go to top one and say add uh, adjustment layer and add use saturation and colorize it and you can just change it to any color you want and of course you can just like you know you go you can go back to it anytime you want just play it with sliders or if you don't want it at all just uh, just click the this layer and you have the original one 